Welcome back, Badger fans, to Shin Megami Tensei 1. I welcome you back to Inogashira. Or, not Inogashira, but Kichijoji, I should say. Inogashira is the park that we're looking for at the moment. Which, unfortunately, isn't really made all that evident in this video again, because there's not really any name tags of any sort that give us any indication of where Inogashira is. There's some sort of murder that's been happening. We've been trying to find some old man that has been looking for dongs after we had some strange ceremonial dream with two naked men and a chick getting sacrificed. Dongs is rather perturbed by this ominous message. Also, the fact that he was surrounded by naked dudes. And what this means for his sexuality. What we haven't done, actually, is also visit our next door neighbor, which I didn't realize you can actually visit. So let's go and have a... let's go and knock and be good neighbors. We'll... we'll make ourselves known that we haven't forgotten about them. The doctor next door says, oh, if it isn't Dongs. My daughter's in her room at the moment. Hey, Longo! Dongs is here to see you! Good sir. You do not talk to your daughter like that. You do not use such profane la- profan- Which watch your profanity! Okay, I hear you, says Longo, but Longo is the voice of the heroine that we encountered in our dreams last night, where it says we don't know when we'll meet again. Well, here she is. I find that quite surprising, all things considered. Until we meet again, which won't be for a long time, even though I'm your next door fucking neighbor. God damn. Hey, Dongs, what's up? Huh? A dream? I didn't have any strange dreams like that. Ah... Uh. I was going to go on a date today, but with those stupid police, I can't go anywhere. This sucks. Yes, goddamn those police for keeping us safe from the demon menace that has been tearing out the throats and jugulars of men at the local mall two blocks ahead of us. Yes, goddamn those stupid police. To be fair, the police haven't even found the cops, so you know what? Fuck the police. <laughs> that, that dead body has been lying there for a day now, and we haven't heard anything about it. Incredible. Eh, who am I going out with? That's none of your business. I can go out with whomever I please, yeah? And we're forcibly ejected from her room. Very concerning because I, because we live next door to each other, a la Japanese tropes, we've obviously been best friends for over 30 years, give or take that we're 18 years old. It's very strange that she would be so hesitant to tell us who her boyfriend is, and I think we actually heard at the cafe the other day that um, she was dating the local thug, which I find quite strange. She doesn't just seem like the type to do that, the type that's into bad enough dudes to rescue the president, which I find quite odd. You can't tell your best friend about who you're dating. All right, if you've got that much shame on your plate, then I'm not going to force it. Around the town, I haven't shown yet that there are police barriers surrounding the town, and if you happen to approach any, you get a special uh, special sort of scene. Policeman says, what do you want? No civilians beyond this point. As we, you know, definitely question, why are there houses behind you? Like, are the are the civilians still living in the houses behind you? Because I feel as though that sort of contradicts your, oh, okay, I'll leave now. The police don't take kindly to being proven wrong, because there are plenty of civilians living behind them, unless the entire area behind them has been completely genocide Ed, Is that word genocided? Who cares? But the reason why we were really struggling... Never mind. The reason we were struggling is not because of the ghost that's attacking us. Let's see if we can speak to him, maybe bring it over to our side. Friendly. Who are you? Do you know that I am a ghost? The ghost is watching you warily. What will you do? We'll lower our weapon. If you have something to say to me, come here. He's motioning for us to come closer. We'll approach. Ha, you gullible fool! You're too soft! Taste my power! And he suddenly assaulted us with us giving up our turn. He clasped Plimper, which means that we've been confused. We attempt to strike the ghost anyway. 19 damage, and we've done some grievous damage to him. I don't know how we cleave through a ghost, but... Here you go, I guess we dunked our knife in some holy water earlier. Get some! Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch! 32 EXP, and we leveled up! Wonderful! 
Let's have a see here. We're gonna put a point into intelligence because I how do I put this? It's um it's a game mechanic from what I'm aware of. You need to have high intelligence to, uh, intelligence to be able to commune with demons and have an easier time bringing them over to your side. Four worth of cash and two magnetite. Not the best haul we've ever had, but as I was saying, the reason why I struggled so hard to try and find the way forward in the plot is because you'd think Inagashira would be open to us. The police barrier wouldn't be there. Well, that's a big fucking lie. The police barrier is still there. And when we walk into said police barrier, we find not the police, but a strange old man. The reason I know this is because I've actually tried recording this episode three times now, but my inability to save has, um, well, let's just say it impaired my ability of actually progressing through the game. You must be Dongs. Yes, yes, I see. Yes, you are quite special indeed. Maybe you don't see it now. But it is quite possible that one day, you will wield power beyond your wildest imagination. Light and darkness, law and chaos, the delicate balance that this world rides is, uh, that this world rides on is beginning to tip. While the forces of law and chaos that are, mo that are in motion are now still weak. There will come a time soon where they shall gain power and momentum, vying for supremacy over each other. However, it matters not on which side the weight falls. Either way, the result will be the same. A scale unbalanced. If you were in charge, if either, would you choose? Be mindful. No matter which path you take, there is no turning back once the decision has been made. Wait, once you the decision has been made. Yes, good English! Then again, this game, well, this translation patch was made by a fan group. I can't be too harsh. Why don't you show me what you're capable of for the time being? Being a weedy little high school boy with a fucking knife, with no prior combat experience. And so we're thrust into an area unknown and John Madden approaches us. Now what's going on, asked John Madden. He joins our party without a second thought. Kanye West turns around and says, Dreaming in the middle of the afternoon. Oi, now I'm really losing it. You and me both, Kanye, I don't know where the hell we are. And why are we here? And why is everything like we're tripping on acid? Only one way to find out. The control of the area is taken out of our hands, and we're being forced to follow a path that we're unfamiliar with. A path that Dongs, Kanye West, and John Madden should not know. So why do we follow the path? We do not know. But we raise ever triumphantly to find the goal. The answers must be at the top, because if there is a tower, it must be climbed. Like any good mountain climber says, why do we climb? Because we can. And I, we don't really know what else. Kanye West is, and John Madden are just as confused as I am, as I look confusedly onto our mother. Dongs, no! It's dangerous ahead. Don't any of you go a step further? I know I can't stop you. But if you die... What will I do? I'm not sure, mother. Get out the way. Without a second thought for the, you know, his heart condition of his mother, who is apparently a hologram and is probably dead because she is a hologram at this point in the game, or like assuming that this is some sort of vision into the future. A suspicious man is conducting some sort of ceremony. How do you find Shinto priestesses to bless you as you work upon a, some sort of fucking demonic computer terminal? Like, do you just put an ad in the local newspaper? Must be Shinto priestess. Must be completely unquestionable. Must ask no questions. Must just show up at this company at 3.30 in the afternoon. 
What you will do will be very strange, but you won't be asked to do anything sexual or anything weird of the sort. Just, just bless me as I work upon some sort of work of unfathomable evil. The summoner says, my brethren, come forth from the depths of the abyss. Hmm? What are you doing here? As you've seen our ceremony, I cannot allow you to leave this place alive. He pushes us out of the room and turns into the Georgian Dolman. So we must take up our weapons and fight. There's no... Actually, let's try speaking. Nope, they're out for blood. Definitely out for blood. No need for conversation here. So Dongs does what he does best and brandishes his attack knife. John Madden summons a mighty spell. And Kanye West follows suit by also following in with whatever weapon he happens to be holding onto right now that we are unfamiliar with. Attack! Doman casts Mahaagi, which I believe is a group-wide fire attack. Dongs takes 23 damage. John Madden took 9. Kanye took 18 damage. John Madden retaliates with Zan, which I believe is the wind spell. Dong slashes, and Kanye retaliates. And as soon as we join, we're ejected from the battle. Indeed. It would seem that you are not ready as of yet. If fate so decrees, you shall meet that one again. Ready yourself before you rush ahead. And as mysteriously as he came, the old man disappears along with the police barrier. I wonder if the old man happened to kill the police in this area. Who knows? Well, now that this area is open to us, the most common thing to do would be to check out the building. Or instead be assaulted by a fucking gnome. Alright, how about you have a chat with us? You know, I need some demons. I need some power on my side. How about you join me, sir? I'm gonna send you... Oh, okay, he's trying to intimidate us by saying he'll send us to hell. And we'll act unfazed. We'll brush our bishy hair and look aside like, is this really all you've got? Okay, no, he didn't mind at all. Well, for your triumphant nature, I will stab you in the face. He started dancing. And I'm engulfed in a feeling of bliss. I'm happy. So I don't attack? Do I just skip my turn? Apparently, he managed to stop my, my feeling of pure rage. But how about we try to talk again? Come on. You want to fight? Then come on! We'll lower our weapon. Now he's got nothing to fear. Ah, god damn it. We lost our turn in an attempt to be friendly. We took two damage. And the other brownie attacks for another two damage. Nothing really to be afraid of. It's hard to make it sound dramatic when they're doing less than, like, what, a tenth of my health? Let's have a see here. We'll try another chat. One more chance. Friendly. Yeah, I'll fuse you with a cute chick. Come on, come to my side. Well, he doesn't trust me. Well, that's a goddamn shame. I'll show you something you can trust. The pointy end of my knife. If he wouldn't stop fucking dancing. Oh, I'm okay. Wait, Dongs is happy. Damn it, I missed my turn. But I managed to definitely avoid the attack. Preemptively trying to stop him from dancing again, I thrust my knife straight towards his chest, but I take two damage on the intake. Yeah, one down. But let's see if his partner happens to be more understanding than his friend was after I stabbed him. Friendly. You want to fight? Then come on. I'll smile. Yeah, I look stupid. But I'll persuade him. But he likes to dance, so how about we try swinging to- uh, Swinging? I don't swing that way, but I will sing to him. You're a riot human. You want to get cozy with me or something? Looks like you'll hear me out. How about you become my minion? Magic stone? Uh, yeah, sure. I didn't have a magic stone. Damn it! Fuck! Alright, if that's the way you want to play it, then you're getting a swift knife to the chest, just like your buddy. And promptly slain. 16 XP, 64 worth of cash, not too shabby. So, moving on to the mansion, we'll have a look around. 
This place is called Jackyo, which I believe is the place where we fuse demons. The master of the magic says, Welcome to the Jackyo Mansion, where demons come together. Good sir, you are at least 50 years old by anime standards. Look at these penis towers. You are a 50-year-old man decoring your temple with giant dicks. Good on you, sir. From one dong's master to another. Good on you. But to be fair, we have no demons to fuse for now, so enjoy your penis towers, you strange, kooky old man. Further along, we have a room with a box. We open it up and gain 400 magnetite. Dope as hell. I don't know what it's for, but I like having it. This is Kaifuku, a healing dojo. To those who hurt or suffer, we extend the hand of relief. What business have you in the healer's dojo? And this acts like a, a shrine where you can heal, revive, lift cur curses and buy items. There are multiple iterations of stores or healers dojos, depending on the alignment that you're on. If you're uh, because this game has an alignment system of law, neutral, and chaos, you if you're on the opposite spectrum, you uh, get charged more. Fortunately, Kaifuku is the neutral dun uh, ne sorry the neutral healers dojo. There will be a law and also chaos do doju dojo. I can't speak today. And if we happen to be on the law side of things, chaos healing dojos will cost us twice as much. So it's something to keep in mind. I'll be trying to stick to the neutral path as much as possible. But it might not always be possible. Things like treasure chests and also demons also depend on your alignment. Or an ointment. Very nice. Well, it seems like there's not much else to do in this red carpeted mansion. So I suppose we'll make a move. Yes, we shall leave into Inogashira Park. And with that, we'll call the episode here. I will be doing a little bit of grinding and trying to get myself some demons. And with that, I wish you good night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that business. I will see you for the next episode of Shin Megami Tensei. Good night, everyone. <laughs>